burn a gondola. <laughs> <laughs> going up to the top of the park we've seen some amazing trees um, yeah. incredible heights one was 300 feet high and a diameter of 19 feet I think that's the biggest tree I've seen in my entire yeah, life 297 feet tall <laughs> anyway we're going on a gondola above Redwoods apparently this is the only such gondola on the continent and um, quite spectacular trees like you've never seen before yeah, we cut short our stay at Humbug Mountain. I think as we said in the last video, we were watching the weather and we had a window on Sunday. So we decided to take it and packed up our camp in record time. Very proud of that. And uh, down the coast, about 120 miles, I think, to um, Klamath. And the weather was great. Uh, we got here uh, just in time. We had kind of a sunny afternoon and then the rain started and yesterday was the day that we just holed up inside and got caught up on some work. Now today, the sun has broken through after a night of rain and we're out here enjoying it just in case it's the only uh, day of sun that we have. Yeah, as soon as the sun came out, we just dropped our work and we're speeding out here because we've been told about how amazing this trip is. Um, gondolas over the trees. It's pretty spectacular. It's <laughs> that was going yeah, pretty fast. Pretty fast. <laughs> it's faster than the gondola up Browse Mountain, that's for sure. <laughs> and then sometimes it feels like it's just not going to make it, which is, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> and anyway, everybody else is going up and down, so I'm pretty sure we're okay. The dogs are down on the ground, <laughs> they're not happy at all. <laughs> uh, it's okay dogs, you're with us, you're fine. So we're staying at Mystic Forest RV Park. So of course California is something that everybody should see at least once if they possibly can, but you do pay for the privilege. The minute you cross that state border, we to buy a friendly lady who checks that you don't have any contraband. The only fruit and vegetables we had was fruit, but well, oranges from California, so they were quite happy to have them back. <laughs> but basically, the minute you cross the border, all the prices for everything goes up, and you start paying sales tax again. So you t sales tax, so you you pay for the privilege of being in California. Thank you, Ripley. <laughs> Dogs knowing you're on the camera here. Okay, here we go. Right on the road. I don't know what. Oh, I know top. Yep. I didn't know that. Dogs are ready to get off. <laughs> <laughs> so the door opens, we just get out of the way. Okay, I thought we went back again. Well, there's an observation deck up here, which oh, I think okay. is worth, worth doing. Oh. <laughs> In the park is the end of the trail museum featuring many First Nations artifacts and it's well worth a visit. The park is decorated with numerous giant carvings out of redwood. Redwoods are amazing trees. They're fire resistant, live for thousands of years and grow to heights of 300 feet and more. The most interesting thing that we learned about them is that they have shallow roots. They stay upright only by holding each other up with their roots. Kind of feels like there's a lesson in that. We also spent some time in nearby Crescent City. Okay, so we're having lunch here at the chart room in Crescent City, that's just north of where we're camping, through a really windy, mountainous uh, redwood forest park. Uh, we came up here today because we dropped the dogs off to have themselves groomed and clean. We're really excited about that because it's been six weeks. And they smell like bunnies. And they smell like bunnies, which is really horrible in a small, confined space. Anyway, we're right on the, uh, the water in the harbour and we're looking out over sea lions. There's two uh, lighthouses and we're looking for a fish lunch. And this 
this little city, Crescent City, it's really pretty much the only city within miles of where we're staying. So this is where we have to come for shopping. And we did spend the morning at Starbucks working, so we're having a little more. After leaving Klamath, we overnighted at the very pleasant Giant Redwoods RV Park, situated right in the Avenue of the Giants. This is a scenic road that runs through an amazing redwood forest. We highly recommend making a stop in this area, even in November. We overnighted to cut up the trip to our next destination, which is Calistoga, which is at the northern end of the Napa Valley. We also wanted to have one last hike under the redwoods. So that's our check-in from the redwoods. The next time you see us we'll be in Calistoga. Calistoga is close to Alexander, Napa and Sonoma Valleys so we'll be enjoying a few glasses of California wine. So thanks for watching and please help us grow our channel by liking and subscribing. See you next time. See you next time.